Okay, so today I want to be testing these two speakers. So on the right we've got the Echo Studio, the new Echo Studio. On the left we have the Google Home Max. Both great speakers, uh, but we want to test which one's the best. So the first thing we're going to test is the audio quality. So on the Echo app, I've set the bass to three. Let me just... So you can see the bass and the treble is set to three. Uh, on the Echo you do have a mid-range because it's got mid-range speakers but on the Google Max there's no mid-range speaker so it just has bass and treble and I'll show you now the bass set to the exact same one on the Google Home Max okay if you can just see that there that's it there okay let me just focus that in for you okay so you can see that set pretty much the same so we've got the bass and the treble the same we'll also have the volume set the same and we'll be playing from the same device so we can check the audio quality properly. So the first one uh, we're going to play is the Google Home Max, the one on the left. So I'm just going to cast it from the same device. So I'm just going to put the volumes, volumes up to 7 and I will be, um, if we do use any weight words, I will be dubbing them out. Volume 7. Okay, so now we're going to test the, the smart capabilities of, of each speaker. So we'll start with the Google. Google. Name all the planets in our solar system. On the website caltech.edu, they say, in order of distance from the Sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Do you want a little more context? No. Okay. Name all the planets in our solar system. Our solar system has eight planets. In order of distance from the Sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto is no longer classified as a planet. Well, I'll say that's a pretty even match. I think Alexa sounds a bit more sleepy and relaxed there, I think. Uh, we'll go for the next one. Um, Bird has the longest wingspan. Wandering Albatross. On the website nytimes.com, they say, the Wandering Albatross has the largest known wingspan of any living bird, at times reaching nearly 12 feet. Which bird has the longest wingspan? The Wandering Albatross has the largest wingspan, with a mean wingspan of 10 feet 2 inches, 3.1 meters. Who holds the world record for standing on one leg? On the website dailymail.co.uk, they say, it's held by Suresh Joachim, who balanced on one foot for an incredible 76 hours and 40 minutes. Who holds the world record for standing on one leg? You have world records enabled. Do you want to open it? Yes. 
Guinness World Record for fastest 5 meters on front paws by a dog. Conjo managed to race 5 meters on his front paws in just 2.39 seconds. So as you can see there, I struggled with that, and I think it's because, oh, she's kicking off. I think it's because the, the Echo speaker might not have direct access to the internet, whereas if you hear the Google, she took it, it took it from the Daily Mail online. So they may have access. So, you know, in some instances, I think the, the, the Google speaker uh, is better at getting more information. Um, let's try the last one. Can you make a fart noise? This is a fart. Quite nice. Can you make a fart noise? That was a gassy one. Try asking me for a very uncomfortable fart. Or say random. Very uncomfortable fart. Here comes a very uncomfortable fart. Try asking me for a rotten fart. <laughs> or say random. Rotten fart. Here comes a rotten fart. <laughs> Try asking me for a squeaky fart. Or say random. Squeaky fart. Here comes a squeaky fart. <laughs> Try asking. Stop. Okay, so Okie dokie. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so on the on the fart noises, I think uh, the echo wins. <laughs> uh, so we can see they're pretty evenly matched, you know. Or so I think um, when it comes to getting sort of gathering information, I think the Google speaker does have this slight edge on it. But as you can see, the the echo does do some other things which are better than the Google. So, okay, we've tested the sound quality and the smart, and they're pretty much equal. It, the, it's very, very hard to choose between the two. Um, what I want to go through just a little bit now is some of the things each speaker can and cannot do. So with the, the, the Google speaker, it can't text, at least not in the UK. But the, the Amazon speaker can text, but only to the app. It can't actually text to the actual phone. Um, they both have a really good response when, when it's loud music playing. Um, the connection... Uh, it's probably better on the Echo speaker. You've only got a three and a half min, a three and a half mil auxiliary in the Google, and in the uh, Echo you have uh, the Toslink or optical cable, which gives you a much better signal, and you can plug it into your TV and use it as a soundbar. Uh, it also connects to your Fire TV as well. Also, what I like, uh, I prefer on the on the Echo speaker is the physical buttons. Both of them have a mic off button just here, and one on the back of the Google. Uh, but this one has physical buttons here, whereas on the on the Google speaker you have to slide up and down here like this, um, which is okay. But sometimes it, it sometimes it doesn't. It's not quite responsive. It doesn't quite respond as quickly as a physical button. The last thing I'd like to mention is the fact that the Echo Studio has 3D audio. Now, this does give it an edge over the Google Max. When playing 3D audio, um, it it is far better and far more detailed. So when you're playing like for like music, the Google Max is probably more bassier and louder, as I said. But when you've got the 3D on, uh, it's definitely the Echo that has the edge. And that's everything I have to say about the speakers. Um, both great speakers, and all I can suggest is, if you've already got a Google ecosystem, then stick to it and get this speaker. And if you've got um, Echo speakers already and you want to upgrade, I would definitely get this speaker. Both of them are just as really good as each other. It's very hard to choose between the two. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.